Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to our third video here in my series about coming up here to Bangkok. Uh, you may, may have seen the nightlife video I did the other day. Uh, Got to be honest with you, really disappointing if I'm being truthful. As much as I'd love to up, play, up beat the place and say come up, it's great. Uh, personally, I wouldn't be rushing back myself. I'm staying at the hotel. I said to you I'm here at the Ambassador. Uh, another great example as to why I can't do hotel reviews. Because if I did a review here, uh, I think they'd probably want to see me and uh, be taking me to court. Um, the, the rooms are bloody fly it. Uh, the room was okay. The breakfast was uh, not for my liking. A uh, huge buffet breakfast, but it was like the, the, uh, the rubbery sausages and the cold eggs and that kind of stuff. Which, considering, you know, this is the hotel, I've got to say it surprised me a little bit, if I'm being honest. Uh, but anyway, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the location's good. Uh, we're not far away from Nanak Complex. Uh, but truthfully, if I was to do, a, do this again, I would 100% go back to my hotel in Nana. Much, much better, in my opinion, for me as an individual. So today, uh, you know, I do say about coming up to Bangkok, and I stand by what I say. There's a lot of things to come up here and experience and see and do. It is a bit of fun. It breaks up the monotony of being in Pattaya day in, day out, drinking yourself into oblivion like we all enjoy doing. So I'm going to jump on the BTS. I'm going to go head over to the Erawan Shrine. I want to see that and uh, just talk to you a bit about that. I'm then going to go down over to Koh San Road. We'll have a look around the famous Koh San Road. Uh, I know that's changed dramatically. This fly's really getting on my tits, so I'm going to move over here. Um, so I don't know why I've moved to, but the fly's going to follow me anyway. I think it changed my aftershave. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I want to go to Koh San Road, have a wander around there, grab some food, and uh, we'll just have a look around today to see what's going on. So uh, yeah, let's go check out the BTS. So I'm outside the uh, Nana, Nana BTS and uh, we're going to head up there i'll explain a little bit about it when we get up there it's a really good system particularly if you don't want to be driving in all this traffic you know, the traffic here gets gridlocked it's mental uh so let's go see i think i'm going to go down uh two stop there you go look there we are i'm at the nana bts um i haven't used the bts for a, a good few years in fact i think the last time i used the bts was probably about four years ago so i hope to god it hasn't changed or well, the system's changed because if it has I'll be as much in the dark about this as what you will be. But those of you that are regular travellers and do come up to Bangkok, you'll vouch for me when I say the BTS is the system. Uh, right, so, oh man, I don't actually know which way I want to go. Let me go and see the lady. In fact, I'll be back in a second. All right, so I got my ticket and uh, I'm going to go to Chitlong. Platform 2, and that's near where the uh, Erewhon uh, Memorial is, statue. Okay. Here we go. All right, oh, look at the carnage. All right, let's jump on. Let's jump on here, quickly get in. Okay, back in a second. So I'm here at the Erewhon Shrine. Uh, I've got to say, it's quite an eerie feeling. Uh, let me spin the camera around. So you may not be uh, aware, but in uh, 2015, in August, this month in 2015, a heinous crime was, uh, was committed, uh, an act of just incredible destruction where a bomb was planted under a seat here. And sadly, it was detonated and it killed 20 people you know people just like these people here just enjoying themselves and paying their respects minding their own business going about their daily life and uh, unfortunately the uh, well, I just don't know how to um, don't know how to actually describe what I feel right now I'm quite emotional to be honest and to think I'm stood here and, you know I could have been there on that day in 2015 and suddenly before you know it, everything's just gone in front of your eyes uh, so many people were very seriously hurt and as i say 20 people 20 people were killed and for what for coming here just going about their day living their lives it really is uh i don't know guys sometimes i find things very difficult i'm not really 100 percent sure what's going on here to be truthful uh, i don't know She's getting right in my way there. What are you doing? Thank you very much. So yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but anyway, 
So yeah, this is the Erewhon Shrine. And I don't want today to be on a, a down, you know, I don't want it to be, uh, I want it to be an upbeat video, that's my style, you know me, but I just thought it was very, very appropriate to come here, especially as I was just around the corner, and just, uh, just bring this to your attention, guys, if nothing else. Okay, enough about this. That's the wrong thing to say, so I apologise. Enough about this, like I'm disregarding it, I'm sorry. I don't mean it that way. Um, but let's go down to, um, let's go to Coast Sand Road. So, slight detour. I was going to go to Coast Sand Road. Uh, it's a little bit quiet at the moment, so I want to head back. Uh, didn't go down there, so I'm just heading down. I want to walk down towards the river. I've never been down here before, uh, so let me have a sh show you what's going on here. Never been to this area. I call this Ram Rambaturi. And uh, by all accounts, it looks like there's a loads of uh, cafes up here, and there's also a place to buy for clothes, as you can see. And I think that's one of the attractions of coming up here. I think you could probably stay here for six months and yet never walk the same road again. It's, uh, it really is that kind of, uh, of a place. And I don't know, you know, look up there, see different styles of housing. I don't know what kind of housing that is or who lives there. But uh, needless to say, it's definitely something new. Like I said, I've never been down in this. We're gonna go around to the left, then around to the right. And now that should take us somewhere down to where the uh, the river is. I hope. <laughs> if it doesn't, well, at least if anything, you've had a wander around. It's uh, very chilled. It's a bit afternoon. I say no. It's, it's uh, lunchtime now. But you know, to be fair, I would have thought at lunchtime a lot of places would have been open. And uh, certainly, Coastland Road. I mean, I remember going there years ago, and I can't wait to go back in a bit once I've had some food. But I remember that being a hive of entertainment. And, uh, well, I'll tell you the story while we're walking. So when I first came out here, you know, I warned everyone about the three-day rule, and I said, you guys, be very, very careful. It's easy to fall in love and all the rest of it. Well, that happened to me. And when I first came over here, I met an American guy, and uh, he was head over heels in love with this girl who happened to, wait for it, have a friend anyway this friend became my friend and uh, became a good friend and I ended up going all around the country I had no idea where we went but we went up north and uh, I bought <laughs> I know you're sitting there shaking and saying how can you have done that but the reason I did it and the reason I tell you not to do it is because I did do it and uh, yeah I bought her a ring and it was through one of these um, I actually sort of connected with her afterwards through this like dating app. Anyway, the long and short of it was that, uh, guess what? She took the ring off one day to do some washing for the dishes and unbelievably, it disappeared. Unheard of, unheard of. And uh, so yeah, so the ring was no more. Hey ho. But yeah, live and learn. But that was in Kosen Road. We met, we met her in Kosen Road, which we'll go back to later on. And, uh, see what's going on but yeah so there you go guys i have fell foul with the three-day rule and i paid the price although i don't think the ring was a lot of money if uh, memory serves me correctly i think it was something silly like about five thousand baht which back then i think it was 50 58 or 60 to the pound something like that certainly around that area and uh but yeah what i'm up at okay so Oh, here you go. Do you want a suit? Is he going to ask me? No, he's not. No. That's good. You get asked. I'll tell you what I have noticed here is you get asked a pro, you know, literally every corner. Where are you going today? You need a tuk-tuk? You need a motorbike? So uh, you're never far from transportation. Now I'm hoping we can turn right here. Fingers crossed. And then we'll walk down towards the, uh, walk down towards the river. And I'll try and find somewhere and grab some food, see what's on the menu, see how the prices compare. Like I said earlier, you know, the, oh, the entertainment prices here, ferocious. Oh, shit. Okay, so clearly my map reading skills have gone pear-shaped. So I'll tell you what we'll do. All right, bear with me. I'm going to walk back. There's a turning back there. We'll do that. I'll be back in a second. All right, so we're back on track. Trust me. 
I thought the road would be bigger than this, but it wasn't. Anyway, here we are. And what we're doing now is uh, going to head down to the river. Not quite sure what we're going to find. Hopefully we'll find a, a, a river restaurant. We can sit down and grab some food. It's hot today, I tell you, even though there's no sun. I'll tell you what I noticed more about Bangkok than uh, Pattaya is the fact that it's, it's very humid here. There doesn't seem to be a lot of air flowing around. There's no, not a lot of breezes and stuff like that. So uh, I am noticeably sweating more than I would do normally. So uh, yeah, I wonder what's here, let's have a look. Not quite sure what to uh, expect. It's part of the fun though, I guess, walking around. Where are we going? I have no idea. But like I say, you know, come up, come up and check it out. So, let's have a look. Well, clearly there ain't no river. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, oh man. Right, let me, let me get to the river. I'll get to the river and we'll go from there. Sorry guys, I'm using my phone to look at my, uh, where I'm going. And this is meant to be a river. So, uh, right, let me find the river and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm laughing because quite frankly, I want to cry. Ah, oh, if there's anything out of this video you can take, it's this. When you come to Bangkok, never ask me to be your tour guide. Because look where I've ended up. I've actually ended up on top of a bridge and here's the river. That's the river. I want to sit down and have a beer and have some food. But it just ain't happening guys. And looking at that water, I would say 99.9% .9 you don't want to be swimming in that bad boy. So anyway, there's a scenic view of the city. Nothing to do with the restaurant. Oh hello, there's orange parasols over there. Right, I'm not to be outdone. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to walk back the way I just came. I've just come up this hill. Tell you what, shedding a few kilos today, guys. So I'm going to walk down to that orange place and see if I can sit there. If nothing else, you can't say this hasn't been eventful. I only wanted to go to Koh Sam Road, but uh, well, I did the arrow one, arrow one, that was lovely uh, for all the right reasons. Um, so yeah, and there's a lady down here. When I walk around here, she's going to be jumping up and down. She was screaming at me when I walked up here saying, come on, come on, boat, boat, boat. I said, no, I'm okay, thank you. I think I should have taken her, uh, her suggestion. But anyway, there is definitely, definitely a restaurant up there. So I'm going to head down there and see what we can do. And I am going to get a beer if it's the last thing I do today. So let's find out what that restaurant, if it's open and what it's like. So far, so good. I've actually managed to get down here to the riverside. Let's show you. So I'm now actually down there, but I mean, yeah, look at that. Oh, you don't want to go swimming in that. Uh, so I'm down here. There's some dude passed out on the floor here. What's that about? What on earth is going on here? What is it? Why is it me? Why? Oh, he's stretching. Wonder what he was doing. <laughs> I thought it can only happen to me, can't it? Anyway, so <laughs> where were we? All right, let's head up there. Morning. He's uh, busy doing his stretches. I thought, oh, please, not a drunk, not this time of day. Uh, there's the new Siam. See, now these are the kind of things I was looking for where you can sit there and then you've got the view. And it's an all right view. It's not horrific. There's people sat in there. I don't know. I won't put my camera in there. There's a girl who's about to jump in the swimming pool. With the luck I'm having today, she'll think I'm trying to put the camera on her. So uh, we'll swerve that one. Now these are the orange things I said to you. Here we go. Right, come on, please. You've got to be kidding me. Oh yeah, there's a gate up there. And you can go on these long tail boats. Uh, it's an hour up and down the, the, uh, the river, stopping off at various places. Truthfully, I don't know the price. I haven't used it, so I'm not quite sure. 
But what I do know is I want to get in here. I need a beer, guys. I can't keep walking around. I'm absolutely melting. Uh, what's this called? Petit Soleil. Check me out with me old accents. Petit Soleil. Okay. And I can't go. Oh, you've got to be joking. Look, ice again. All right, let's try. You watch, this will be for residents only or something like that. Right. Swimming pool. Oh, this has got to be residents only in it. Oh, man. This really ain't going to plan today. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Right, okay. I might go for McDonald's instead. Okay, let's imagine I'm eating. Look at the view, guys. Imagine I'm eating. The view's lovely. That's about, I think, as close as we're going to get to it. So I think what I'm going to do is give up the game, admit defeat, try and find my way back out to the main road, and uh, get a taxi over to Coast Road. Because <laughs> I've just failed dismally here. Absolutely dismally. So, sorry guys, uh, Coast Road. Okay, so uh, I'm in the chart bar in Coast Road. I've got to be honest with you. Um, totally blown away with the transformation that this place has had. Haven't been here for a few years, uh, but I'm gonna have some food first and a beer. <laughs> I need a beer after that. I've walked for miles, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a beer and some food, and uh, I can't believe the change. It's been like phenomenal. It really is like it's, well, you'll see, you'll see. Those of you that have been to Coast Sand Road uh, a while back, and I'm talking like six, seven years, you're gonna notice. It's just, I don't know what to make of it. Uh, but let me show you the menu here. Uh, it's actually, it's an all right place, it's quite good. Nice there, there we go. Look, the main ingredient of the day, a large Leo with a glass of ice. And I know some of you are going, you can't have ice. Um, let's just show you some of the prices here. So it's actually all right, a large Leo uh, is 130 baht. That's nothing. You know, I was paying 165 baht yesterday in uh, Nana. Uh, they do a lot of different foods here, like your snacks, all the standard snacks that you can expect. Uh, what else have we got? International dishes, uh, ribeye steak. That's actually a good price, ribeye steak, 375. I don't think it's in a proper steak, though. It might be, I might be wrong. A scrambled egg baguette. I'm not quite sure I fancy that. Uh, tuna baguette. I actually want some spaghetti. Tuna salad, spaghetti with garlic, chili, and olive oil. That's getting there. We're getting close. Uh, oh, here we go. Right, so. Spaghetti with seafood, 190. That's good. Spaghetti with tuna, garlic, chili oil. All right, fantastic. Okay, let's get some food. So the food I've ordered is a pad thai gung, gung being the Thai word for prawn, and uh, it comes with the spring onion, which you call bai hom, uh, lime, which we call manau, and uh, you've got uh, your spaghetti. You also get some condiments in here. So you get some uh, chili sauces, some uh, other sauces. <laughs> some chili and uh, some sugar love a bit of sugar is that sugar i think it's sugar. yeah sugar so uh, there you go all right time to tuck in and then let's have a walk down coast Sound road and call this a day okay so we're at the final part of today's video man that's been emotional uh, i'm right outside coast Sound road gotta say those of you that know this area will see for straight away how much it's changed changed so much since i was last here and uh, those of you that haven't been here before come down come down and check it out have a look see what's going on there's so much happening here all right so just so you see where we are there we go we are at the famous kosan road right outside rocker uh, that's a new place on me i don't recall that I haven't been up here for years got to be so many years but like you can see look it's all been uh, repaved they've even put the bollards all the way down now to give uh, safe access for those in vehicles and if we're walking then uh, we stay on the other side. It's never been like this. And this used to be a really busy area, like seriously fun. It was always a case of uh, thousands and thousands of backpackers. This was the place I referred to. Do you remember a long, long time ago I spoke to you about the guy that would sell you a driving license, a passport, you name it, he would provide it. Uh, he used to be down the far end. I'm guessing probably now he's not there, but anyway, um, that's where he was. I'm not quite what sure is Man C. Man C, okay. Not quite sure what that is. The old massage lady doing her thing. Do you want massage? And you can see all the tuk tuks here. 
Where you go, sir? Where you go? You need tuk tuk. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, they're trying to earn a living. So uh, fair play. And the food that I had, remember I said it was at the chart bar. That's this place here on the right hand side. That's the chart bar and restaurant. Food was good. Pad Thai guy, uh, sorry, Pad Thai Gung. 165 baht, belly bargain. And it was good, nice food as well. And I had to, in, uh, had to include a much needed large Chang in a glass with ice. I can imagine you ice warriors now all turning over saying, what's he doing? You can't put ice in your beer. But you can, but you can. So uh, super dude, full moon, balance bar. What's really strange, what I find hardest to understand more than anything else is, it's so quiet. You know, we're mid afternoon now. This place back in the day would be rammed. Seriously rammed. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. I really generally don't know. Uh, I don't recall this. The Krung Three, uh, Krung Thai, sorry, Krung Thai. I'm okay, mate, I don't need to see things. Uh, the Krung Thai Bank, I don't recall that being here. But uh, I can imagine night time. And uh, truthfully, you know, I've been doing the night videos. Uh, I will head over to, uh, sorry, Cowboy. Not really want to come down here. It's, it's not that kind of nightlife. It's more sit outside, backpacking, having a beer, making new friends, etc. Certainly not a girly bar area. And uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm being truthful. I don't actually think there's a huge amount of freelancing going on here either. But I might be wrong, so don't, uh, don't hold me to that. But the guy that used to do all the paperwork and that, he was at the very end here. I can't imagine he's there. I'm talking years ago now. I imagine he's long gone. Either that or he's in Bangkwang prison. And what I'm gonna do uh, at the end of this video, guys, uh, just really, just to, I, I won't be doing the actual video, but what I'll do is I'm gonna get a tuk-tuk, purely because I know I say don't use them because you sit in the traffic and it's all the fumes and everything. Uh, but I'll just do it just to give you an idea of the roads. I won't be talking, I'll just literally put the camera on and uh, you can watch until either you fall asleep or you get bored and switch it off or you just don't even bother watching. It's entirely up to you guys. Uh, but I will do that, I will, uh, Say my goodbyes and then I will throw that video on at the end and we'll head back to the Ambassador. If you are looking for central locations, you know, the Ambassador Nana Hotel, these, these places are in a very good location, particularly they're close to Soy 4 to Nana, which is where most, if not all of the action goes. Well, I say all the action, that's wrong. A lot of the action goes on. So that's where you're going to aim for. And of course, you've got other areas. Uh, you've got uh, Sugarbit Soy 11. Soy 9, Soy 7, as I mentioned earlier, you've got Soy Cowboy. So there are plenty of uh, options there available for you, if you so desire. So we are nearly at the very end. Been an interesting day, I'm not going to lie. But the thing that I like to really emphasise is, you know, come up. Just come up, have a wander around, spend a day here. Explore, you know, do whatever it is you want to do. Sometimes, like I say, you know, don't make plans. Just wing it on a prayer. And all right, today I did have plans. I'm okay, thank you, boss. I'm okay, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Everywhere. Everywhere, really? Yeah. I want to go Ambassador. Ambassador, ambassador Hotel. Huh? Hotel, huh? Yeah. Ambassador. Yeah, ambassador, yeah. Okay. Everywhere, 50 no, baht, no, no, really? No, no. Yeah, sure. Oh, see, I thought you changed yeah, your mind. No, no, no. I thought... But I'm at the hotel, I know. Ambassador? Yeah, now I show you to see the looking. I, I don't want to go it. anywhere. No, no, I'm no, not no, going. No, 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 no honestly. No, I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> so the reason he will take you everywhere for 50 bucks, because he wants to go to the gem factory, he wants to go to the suit shop, he wants to stop on the way, and then basically you'll go in, they'll try and hard sell you whatever it is, and he'll carry you on your journey if you've bought something for 50 baht. And uh, be very careful, guys. As you just saw then. You know, I'll take you anywhere, 50 baht. No, you won't. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stop on route, and you're gonna stop me off at uh, various gem stores and all the other rubbish that you're gonna throw my way that they get commission on if you purchase. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, right, that's it for me, guys. Let me just spin around. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've enjoyed what I'm doing. I hope you've enjoyed walking around the city with me and getting lost. And uh, 
I am going to get a tuk-tuk. I'm going to get a tuk-tuk back. So after this, once I've said goodbye, bear with me. Uh, it's just going to be the journey going back. <coughs> you might want to watch. Let's see. All right, that's it from me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and uh, the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video. Have a look on Discord. We have a Bangkok section in Discord. Share your trip reports, share your thoughts, share your experiences. It's all there. It's completely free of charge. And if you'd like to support the channel and the work I do, there is a link in the description below. Membership starts with as little as 89 pence a month. All right, let's go do this tuk-tuk. Oh, dear. I have no idea what we're going to see. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.